With Top Gun 2 scheduled for release next year, I want to revisit the original Top Gun and see how it set the stage for its upcoming sequel. So what's my overall impression of Top Gun? It's a fantastic movie. Even though the movie was produced in 1986, using what was then state-of-the-art equipment, it's still a phenomenal movie by today's standards because a large portion of the movie was filmed on location rather than just using CGI or props. Being on location, it makes that action much more exciting. For example, scenes like Maverick being shot off the aircraft carrier, or Maverick buzzing by the tower at close range. I especially loved all of the cockpit shots and aerial dogfight scenes. In those scenes, it featured a lot of up-close shots of Maverick and his friends, showing the intensity of the moment or sweet relief of victory. I could definitely feel all of their emotions during those times. Going back to aerial dogfights, these scenes aren't commonly found in many movies. That's because it requires a lot of equipment and coordination in order to get the right footage for the movie. The producers of Top Gun managed to put all of the fight and flight scenes together in a very sensible way. To me, that's what makes Top Gun very unique compared to other action movies that just use guns and explosions. The movie doesn't just feature a bunch of fighter jets taking down another fighter jet, it also includes a lot of great character development. We get to see Mav and Goose develop their bonds of friendship and professionalism, starting off as wingmen, all the way to getting accepted into the elite program called Top Gun. Whenever there is downtime, it was always nice to see the characters interact with each other, both in a friendly and aggressive manner. It was a nice development for all of them. Aside from the characters, the movie also featured a lot of great music. Songs like Danger Zone and Great Balls of Fire, they added a lot of good emotion to the scene. The only complaint I would have about this movie is the romance. Personally for me, I'm not a big romance guy, especially when it comes to the student dating the teacher kind of thing. To say the least, it's kind of odd for me. Despite that, I would highly recommend this movie. I would give it a 5 stars. Reviewing for Scott Center News, I'm Preston Kwok.